Hi, this is Joe again with another review. For the sake of this video, we're going to discuss the 1986 film, Children of a Lesser God, starring William Hurt and Marley Madeline. Of course, this is the film that earned Marley Madeline her first and only Oscar and her film debut, which is came in hourly because I think it was like the first every time. Uh, she, she became the first actress to win her win an Oscar for Best Actress in a screen debut. And of course she plays one well, of the main part, William Hurt plays a speech therapist and speech teacher who gets a new job at a school for the deaf and he's teaching uh, deaf kids how, how to speak. So, so they can speak like people who aren't deaf because they don't most deaf people don't know how to speak because of their voices don't work because they can't hear what anybody is saying they can't respond verbally so Richard Hurt's job was to teach those kids who can't hear a little tiny bit who to help develop the, vo the voices a little bit more and to communicate a little bit so why have to rely on sign language to people who don't know how, don't know sign language and while William Hurt was there, he meets and falls in love with Molly Madden's character, who just works there as a pretty much, she was pretty much like a janitor at, at the school. You see him mop the floors at one point, clean, clean the, clean the uh, classrooms and stuff. And she was one of the, and she used to be a former student at that school. And at first, William Hurt was trying to pick her up, because if you ever see Molly Madden on Either this movie or other roles she's done, she's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I mean, you, I mean, she, she is so hot. She could be a model. I mean, that's how, that's how beautiful she is, and she's absolutely stunning to look at, and with a, with a body to match. You know, that's how hot she is. And so William Hurt was instantly attracted to her, and and tries to pick her up, and finds out that she can't speak. And she or and he offers to. Morning Man's character to teach her how to speak and to train together to do that. He says, "Why? Well, I'm in a world of deaf people. And if I'm in my own particular world, I don't want to have anything to do with your world because they're all pitying me because I'm deaf. I don't want to have anything to do with that world, or that culture, and, and stuff like that. So, but at first, he try, still tries to." You know, he he he's does as stubborn as Molly Madden's character is, and trying to teach her how to do it, how to speak, and she has nothing to do with it. But meanwhile, she has feelings for him. I mean, he is not fall in love, and 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 it's really their love story, and she and he's trying to bring her into his world, and she's trying to bring him, bring her into her world. And that's pretty much for the rest of the film. And at one point, she she does tries to speak and when Molly Madeline in, in real life at that point she couldn't even speak at all. And uh, was she well, well, and think at that time in real life she tried to have a speech coach so so that she could speak, you know, at the Academy Awards and stuff or try to speak for this role. But it's one scene that she does attempt to do that and the voice is just not not really there. And I think because of that scene, she won the Oscar for Best Actress for, for that for that one scene alone. But after that scene, Molly Mellon dumps William Hurt, and they were separated for a long, long time. And Molly Mellon does get a job on her own, and she's trying to like save money to go to co actually go to college. And William Hurt uh, you know, tracks her down, and and they rekindle the, the relationship and they you know reunite at the end of the film um so that so like i said this movie, this movie i mean this movie was made today 2019 instead of back in 1986 this would be such a cliche you know film of course Molly man is one of the first actors that actually she physically has a disability to win an award an acting award, whether it be an Emmy or not, or in her case, an Oscar. And she's like one of the first politically correct award winners. Of course, they also have Danny Day Lewis, who might have heard, uh, Chris Burke on TV for, for, I think, I forgot the name of the show, I think 30 something, 
I want to tell you something. I forgot the show was he's recently retiring in real life and he wins the Oscar because he's on an Emmy Award because he was on the show. And acting, oh, it's so wonderful to have a recently retired the guy who's who's recently retired in real life acting on the show. And also with uh, for Tom Hanks and Forrest Gump and Phil, Philadelphia and then Forrest Gump playing Dean Lloyd Dying of AIDS. And then, of course, plays the mentally retarded guy in, in Forrest Gump. Larry Drake for LA Law playing mentally retarded guy there. Uh, or Anthony Hopkins playing a, a, a psycho serial killer. You know, in Science of the Lambs. So it's like one bit after after another. And and Marley Madden was like one of the first to do it. And, and, and she did she did deserve it. I'm not saying these actors don't deserve the, the awards. But but Hollywood is so liberal. They say, oh, they're just as good as we are type stuff. So let's give them a reward. So, but she, she really did deserve it. And so did Anthony Hopkins. He also deserved it. So does Oscar. But to... Play someone with a disability to get an award. I mean, it's just no campy bullshit here. But Marley Madden did deserve the the Oscar for Best Actress because I don't remember who else was even nominated for that year. I mean, who does? I mean, it's so long ago, it was like three three years ago now. But to to her, she was really terrific, really great in the movie. And they remember the movie. I didn't think she was that hot. And they remember seeing this movie for the first time. But as I rewatched it, just last night, and figured, oh, how how smoking hot she was, and just to to watch her in this movie is really really terrific. She gave a world class performance. She really did deserve the Oscar. Very someone with very low acting experience that she had to win an Oscar in the first movie role. I mean, it's so extremely rare. It's not even funny how how rare that is, but. William Hurt also gave a great performance in this film as well. And the, the, the whole story is just the two characters. And, and he was hoping more that, you know, it would be more of a story of training him, training teach him. And eventually both of them taught each other how it is to be in each other's uh, world like that. So, but the movie is real, still worth watching uh, today, even though you can say it's a cliche, it's a cliche movie. By today's standards, but then it was really, really weird to see a movie like this at that time. And this movie is based on a Broadway on a Broadway play. I should I should mention that. And the guy who wrote the you know the screenplay for for what is that what, what, he co wrote the screenplay based his own, based on his own play. The, the guy who co wrote the screenplay in this. I should I should mention that. I, the name is a blank right to me right now. But the guy who wrote the play version of this, of Tuna and the Lesser Guy, co-wrote the screenplay for this film. But I think the only Oscar, as far as I know, that the movie earned was for Marley Manor for, for Best Actress. And, and like I said earlier, she does, deserve, she does deserve this movie, even though she, you know, today, people who play someone with a disability, even though Marley Manor physically does have that disability of being deaf, uh, you know, nowadays you pick one and say, oh, we'll give it to Amy because you play someone with a disability. But she, like I said earlier, she was one of the first ones to earn an Oscar for having someone with a disability. But she was so good in the role that at that time, you don't really think about it. Well, nowadays, yeah. In 1986, it was, a no, it was a novelty for someone with a disability to, to act so well in a film. Or to, on a television show, whatever. So that's my review of Children of a Lesser Guy. Please click on the video. Please read it. Please subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe. Please uh, follow. Link this video onto your Facebook pages. You can check, check out all my reviews on only my YouTube channel. But at RowdyC.com. So WDY. Then C.com. The homepage to Rowdy Reviewer. Christine Moore. Please check out all of his videos on his website. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.